Hi everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. So today's video is going to be one of the major components of my deep clean of the greenhouse and that's going to be cleaning out my nutrient tank and my return lines. So I'm going to show you all my steps that go through that, so stay tuned. So I started my deep clean and the first thing I did was clean out my 4 inch return lines from the channels. You can see how nice and clean those are. What I do is I take my hose and I put water down there, turn it on full blast, and then I have a long rope here with two little float balls on them, which happen to be the boys' toys, and those float all the way down to the tank, and then I shove this guy through. It's got a sponge in there, and it's wrapped with some fencing, so it's kind of pour, coarse, and it pulls out any dead roots that are in there. So I got that all cleaned up, but now my nutrient tank is filthy. But I wanted to do that first to make sure everything was all cleaned out and I didn't contaminate anything. And uh, one return line where I used to do a lot of Asian greens really had a lot of uh, debris in it. So I'll go show you the nutrient tank now. Okay, so I'm back at the nutrient tank now and here it is. I keep it covered up with my plastic sheeting, the one that has the white on the top and then it has the black on the inside because I want to make sure I keep all the algae out of the tank. And since I did the um, return lines, it got all kinds of debris in there. You can tell it's kind of green and gross looking. So I have to get that all cleaned out. And oh, what I did too with the, um, when I was doing my return line clean, see that's where it comes out, that pipe right there, that four inch pipe. I always make sure that I have my pool net over that because that caught a lot of debris before it went down in there because that would be a big mess and then you'd have to vacuum it out or get it out somehow. So. Make sure you always put a cover over your return line when you're cleaning things out because you get all those roots and algae and stuff and it's better to keep it out of the system and then trying to fish it out later on down the line. So I'm going to empty this guy out and I'll show you in a second how I do that. Okay, so here's the back end of my nutrient tank. Take the cover all the way off. And Doug has for me down there, if you can see it, a sump pump. So I don't have to turn on the dolphin pump to empty it out. I just have that sump pump in there and I can get it all cleaned out. So you can tell this year it's not quite as bad as it was last year when we did the deep clean. I really tried hard to keep all the algae out. And the other thing I have to make sure I had going is my sump pump over here to keep the water table down. Because being by the Vermilion River here, the water table's pretty high. And we had like half an inch of rain almost 24 hours ago. So I got the water table down and now I can empty this out without worrying about my tank popping out of the ground. Because if it did, all that nice plumbing that Doug did for me would be ruined. So you got to be very careful. So let me get this guy plugged in and get him emptied out. Okay, so I'm going to get the sump pump plugged in here to get this tank emptied out. The first thing I need to do is open up this discharge line here. Because this discharge line for this sump pump is connected into the same one for my outside sump pump. So I want to make sure it's open so I can get the water out because, you know, it won't work very good if it's not open. I don't want to burn up my pump. So I'm going to get this going and get my tank emptied out. Okay, the pump's going. It's discharging out, getting lower there, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and get this ready to go to get cleaned out. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so, almost emptied out. See, I got some debris down there at the bottom. So I am going to use a water extractor and suck all that stuff out of there. The more stuff you get out, the better. But it doesn't look too bad in there. And like I said, not as bad. Sorry, I'm tilting the camera funny, but it's the only way I can get it in there. It's not too bad. But I'm going to clean it out anyway. Okay, so I got the extractor set up. This is something Doug kept from his businesses. It comes in handy every once in a while. You can use your shop vac for this, but I happen to have this back here. And it did a great job last year, so I'm going to use it again. So I got it all in plugged up plugged in I mean to electrical and I'm gonna get that debris out from down there so I'll show you the after when I get done okay I'm halfway done had to empty out the tank you can see I'm getting a lot of that debris out of there a little bit more to go and I'll be finished ready for the next step okay here's my nutrient tank all vacuumed out almost perfect but I'm not gonna go down in there and get all the little bit of debris out of there I'm a little claustrophobic, but I'm happy with the results. So next thing to do is to sanitize it. Okay, so I'm filling up the tank now with some fresh water. And I'm going to use a little bit of Strip It Pro like we used last year, but not quite as much because we had foaming everywhere and I had to empty the nutrient tank out and fill it back up, I think, 
six to ten times I lost count so I just want to be able to do it once or twice this year and like I said the tanks not that bad but I am going to run the um, solution once it's in the tank here I'm going to run it through all my irrigation lines all my risers and up through the, even the spaghetti tubes just to get everything all cleaned out and get all the algae and pathogens out of there okay got the cleaner in there and it's bubbling up like it should be I'll turn on the pump soon once it gets high enough and let it recirculate into the system here to really foam it up and clean all the sides of the reservoir tank. Okay, got the pump primed and on. Got the water filling up. And as you can see, it's really Okay, got all the uh, bubbles going in here, scrubbing up the inside of the nutrient tank. See it coming up over the top there. So I'm going to let the uh, pump go for a little bit longer so it recirculates this and get it all scrubbed up and then we'll shoot it down the uh, line to clean them out. Okay, since everything's pretty filled up and I'm ready to send my cleaning solution through the nutrient lines here. So I went ahead and I turned on my valve here. This is my main valve that turns off, um, turns on and off the water going up to the nutrient line. So before I had it closed and the water's just recirculating in the nutrient tank making all the foam. And now I'm ready to send it over to all of my lines and get those guys cleaned out. So as you can see from over there where I was standing where the um, valve is for the nutrient lines. You kind of see it over there. So this line right here is the line for the nutrients to go up to the risers, up to the black tubes and then up to the spaghetti tubes into the uh, channels. See? So you got the, the black lines here and then you got the um, spaghetti tubes right here. You see these all got neat, get cleaned off. They got rust spots on them from the uh, clips I used to close them off. So I'm going to go open up one section at a time and let the solution run through. And let it sit for a little while and then flush clean water through it. Okay, so here's one of my risers coming up from the line from the nutrient tank. Pushing the nutrient solution up to the black hose and to the spaghetti tube. And see I have uh, shutoff valves on each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The water is going to go through the spaghetti tubes. Like I said, it has a cleaning solution in it. A little bit of water here in the greenhouse, but that's okay. Got to get everything cleaned out. And then what I'm also going to do is right here, where am I? Right here is I'm going to turn this on and let it flush out the whole, let it flush out the whole line for a minute. Just to make sure it's all clean and it gets all the nutrients out, or not nutrients, but all the salts and deposits out of there. So everybody's kind of dripping here, kind of going through. And then I'm going to turn it off and I'll go do the next section. Okay, here comes another section to turn on. Oops, oh, is that turn? There we go. And all the water is going through the spaghetti tubes. Walk down here to where the end line is, which is oh, up farther here. And I'll turn this guy on and get the see some yucky water's coming out of there. Wait till it gets clear, and then I know all the nutrients, old nutrient water's out. There, now it's getting clear. Okay, turn this off. Then I'll go back and turn off the other one. Okay, I went through and turned on all the valves, flushed out all the black lines and the spaghetti tubes. I'm going to let them sit for a little while before I flush out the nutrient tank and run clean water through everything. So you see everything's a little bit wet, but there's no other way to really clean it because you want to make sure you get every one of these little tubes clean. So here I'm back at the nutrient tank and see how much water I used up because I'm not putting any more in there. And let's see. Yeah, it's still pretty bubbly. And yep, it's still pretty full. You can see down in there. So I'll let this run a little bit longer and then we'll start the next stage. So another project that goes along with cleaning out the nutrient reservoir is to do the nutrient tanks here, the A and B, the one that has the micronutrients and the macronutrients. So I got to get these cleaned out. You can see the scum build up. I got some sediment on the bottom there. 
So I'll get these taken apart, get the tubes out of them, and take them up front to the uh, my big sink and get them all scrubbed up. Filling the tank up with fresh water now, and going to run them all through my lines just like I did with the cleaning solution, and get everybody rinsed out. So I hope you guys liked today's video. It was a lot of work cleaning out the nutrient tank, but very satisfying seeing it all cleaned out. So I hope you liked it, and leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions down below. And next video, I'm going to start cleaning out the drain lines for my Beto buckets. So stay tuned and we'll see you then.